It's going to smoke. It's a lot like Mexican cornbread, except that it doesn't have the cheese in it. And um, it's just so good, except it's fried. Everything fried is delicious. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start out by chopping up the vegetables we need. You're going to need some bell pepper. I had some sweet uh, colored pepper. You're going to need a stalk of celery, a couple of green onion, uh, some poultry seasoning, some diced pimentos, two eggs, some sour cream, and um, of course your leftover cornbread. I split it down the middle. I wash the green onion first and I take off the dead leaves on the outside so it's nice and fresh. And then we're just going to dice it. If you don't have a green onion, of course you can chop up a fresh onion. And then you're going to try to chop it small, like you would for dressing. So we're going to get this together in this bowl. Oh, actually I'm supposed to saute these, so let's do that first. We got our um, pan over here, cakes. We'll just put a little oil in here. I've already got this preheated. Have it preheated and ready. So we'll just saute these right quick, get them a little bit soft is all I'm doing. And then um, we can throw everything together. I'll go ahead and open up these two eggs. And I can go ahead and measure out my sour cream. I just need a quarter cup, that's all I need. So all I need is a scooper for a quarter cup. Well, we got that ready. Yummy. Poultry seasoning goes in, pimentos. So you can show them the cookbook. This is a volume two cookbook. I got water on it while ago. You got uh, green onions, bell pepper, olive oil, which we just used some oil, stock of celery, a little bit of pepper, um, sour cream, eggs, poultry seasoning, the pone of cornbread, just half of it, small jar of pimentos. Then we're gonna fry them puppies up. They're gonna be good with some stew. Oh, it's stew tonight. It'll be good. You know what? When I make uh, chicken and dressing and dress cornbread dressing, I actually do not saute my vegetables because my dressing, I make it really wet so that it's nice and fluffy when it comes out of the oven, and it stays in the oven for at least an hour. So I don't go to the trouble of sauteing onions and peppers and celery for my dressing because I like for them to have a stronger flavor. When you saute your vegetables it actually tones down the flavor of them um, and changes the texture so when these types of vegetables are inside of a wet dressing they're already going to be soft you don't have to worry about them not being soft the reason we're doing this tonight is because we are just going to fry these pieces of cornbread and these vegetables would have never had time to soften um, and that's why we are doing this tonight. So they're not crunchy. And now I'm, I really need to turn that off because if I don't, it's gonna smoke like crazy. So we've got our peppers and onion in there. We got two eggs, pimento. Now I don't put pimento in my dressing, but I just thought it would be good in these. We're gonna put in some poultry seasoning, quarter cup of that sour cream, a little pepper. Let me grab some pepper. The salt. Um, there's already a good bit of salt in the cornbread, so we're gonna pepper. 
and use lots of pepper. It's good in it. And now we're going to put in a half a pound of cornbread. This is just a two cup cornbread recipe. Um, so you would just be using half of that after you have you eat. I made supper the other night. Chris didn't even eat a piece of cornbread. And of course, we don't put sour cream in our chicken and dressing either. But this is a treat. This is a delicious treat. And if you wanted to put cheese in them, just remember, if you fried it with cheese in it, the cheese would burn. So that's why I don't put cheese in it. But I do put sour cream in it. It's good. Now the egg is the only thing that's gonna help this hold together when we go to fry it up. And I'm actually gonna pack it into patties with my hands and put it in there. So get ready, this is a hand recipe. Hand made with love. Are we gonna turn on our skillet? Put at least about a quarter cup of oil in the bottom of it. I'm going to pack a little bitty one and put it in here, make sure it's hot. All right, now, this is crumbly cornbread. And the only thing that's holding it together for a patty is the egg. A little bit of egg and uh, sour cream, okay? So, make sure you pack it into a patty before you lay it in the skillet. And they're delicate. Because this cornbread's already been cooked. It's not like, you know, using raw cornmeal mix. A little different. So be careful. Make them smaller if you're afraid you can't flip them without them falling apart. You can make them smaller. It makes a lot. So if there's just a couple of them, you can always half the recipe. Now you see why you gotta use your hands. Those, both of those fell apart. Watch out, girl. Okay. We're gonna look at the first two we dropped, see how they're looking. Now we like them nice and brown. If you don't like them that brown, then uh, turn the heat down and make them lighter colored if you want to. I think this is the one of the second ones I brought. See, that's lighter in color. But you want them to fry for a little while. I mean, you want them to get done. So you can flip them more than once if you, you know, I want to cook them for a while. It's kind of like cooking a salmon patty. And they bubble like salmon patties do because of the cornmeal. Cool. Pretty cool. And 
And remember that when you're making patties as you're dropping, it's going to take them, some of them longer than others because they've been in there at different times. Like this one I dropped last, so I'm going to wait and flip it in a minute. It's hard for y'all to see. It's so nice and pretty and bubbly. I think that's the baking soda in the cornmeal that does that. Now, you also don't want your, if you've got an electric stove, it gets a lot hotter. And you don't want it to be so hot that it gets brown on the outside and, you know, don't really cook the inside. But now this corn, this cornbread was already done. So it's not like a hush puppy where you got to make sure. So keep that in mind too. But keep them in there long enough to get nice and brown toasty. So that they're done. My granny made a pone of cornbread every day and a pan of biscuits. She made them in the morning and her cornbread we ate throughout the day and the biscuits. And uh, there was never a time that she didn't have a pone of cornbread made. She also grew her own corn and took it to the mill and actually had her mill ground. And she done that till she was 90 years old and passed away. It was just the way she lived and what she liked to do. And this granny I'm talking about is the granny that lived in the valley, in Collard Valley, that I grew up right next to. All right. Let's get these over here. Let me show you how they look on the inside. Now we're gonna have these with beef stew tonight. It's a tomato beef stew. If you haven't seen the recipe, you can watch how I make it. There's a lot of stuff in it. Um, but I don't wanna get burnt, burnt. I'm gonna grab one of these in the back that we took out first, and we're gonna crack it in open it's going to smoke. Now, for taste, you could always throw in some butter in while you're frying them. And that would be good, too. But now these are so f flavorful. It's not like they really need anything else to me. They're good. And they're really good cold. I love fried cornbread that are cold than I do hot. All of it. Whether if it's got a bunch of stuff in it or if it's just cornmeal. If I'm making hot water cornbread, I like it to have a lot of pepper and to eat them at room temperature. Mmm. Talk about soaking that up in some stew. It's a lot like Mexican cornbread except that it doesn't have the cheese in it. And, um, it's just so good, except it's fried. Everything fried is delicious. Y'all have a great day. And thanks for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. And remember, this recipe is in our second volume cookbook. Volume two. Bye, y'all. Love ya. It's going to smoke. It's a lot like Mexican cornbread, except that it doesn't have the cheese in it. And um, it's just so good, except it's fried. Everything fried is delicious.